You could argue that we're going to put an end of the college football world that we know it in a four-team playoff this year, and we'll put this will be the last SEC championship game that I think will truly decide the fate of a college football playoff yep. team because yep. it, the way it's going to be set up with no East, no West, Easy. no matter who loses this game going forward, they're still going to be in a college football playoff. There's never a world that the second best team in the SEC, right. even after another loss, is not going to make a 12-team playoff. Yeah, yeah, it, wor- yeah, best case or worst case, whatever you want to look at right now, this game in the future would be for first-round seeding. I mean, that's what this game is about. Right. And probably the winner gets a first round bye and yep. the loser gets a home playoff game. I mean, that's probably what we're going to have moving forward. And not a bad consolation prize, uh, especially if you're uh, at, at one of these places where you're going to get the, uh, the the box in the in the, in the uh, concessions and the parking. But this is it's everything you want it to be. And at the end of the day, it's kind of everything you don't want it to be. Right. For us, the fans, it's awesome. You get to see two teams that are kind of on this collision course. Georgia's been great. Of course, 29 straight regular season wins. They've had the SEC record Um, on the flip side of it. Alabama, the the football cockroaches that stay alive uh, somehow. And it's Kirby. It's Nick. Everything you want. But if you're the league office, you find yourself in a really weird spot right now, because if Alabama wins this game, there's a chance that both Georgia and Alabama could be left out of the college football playoff, which could is be. just mind-boggling to me. But because of the way the numbers are working right now, I don't see it out of being out of the realm of possibility. So, and and, and the second line right there says play-in game question mark. Um, I See, I feel like there is zero chance, and I know this sounds absurd. Yeah. I do not think an SEC champion gets left out of a 14 playoff. No, I just no. don't. Nor, nor would I. However, Michigan, who's a 85-point favorite against Iowa, yeah. they will be in. Easy. Washington, if they win, I don't – Washington, if they win, they'll be undefeated Pac-12. And, they, and the committee already loves them. They're putting, they're putting Washington in. Okay, okay, so you got to. Yep. So then FSU with the backup quarterback, albeit Louisville's not great, if they win it, that's an undefeated Power 5 school. Don't put it past the committee, Okay. And then what if Texas ends up winning? Uh, that, 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 your scenario right there is a problem. And so the cleanest path is either Texas or for Alabama. Now, Georgia win and they're in. This does not, it's not even a discussion Correct. of Georgia. Right. But no, in terms of Alabama, cleanest path for them is either a Texas loss or a Louisville, uh, Louisville win. A Texas loss or a Florida State loss, easiest yeah. path. Now you got four conference champions, easy in. They don't even have to think twice about it. It's only about seeding at that point. Um, that's looked, the easiest path. We looked at it earlier right now. That this is according to our I'm I'm pulling up my my our stats from our information group right now. Okay. Chances to reach to play reach the playoff if Alabama beats Georgia. Okay. Um right now, if um obviously if it says Florida State, Oregon, and Texas all win, they're at a 46% chance. They still have them under 50% if yeah. FSU wins over Louisville, Oregon beats Washington and Texas ends up winning and it's, it's you know again it's it's amazing to me that that would be the case yeah i i think you see the weird thing is i i don't the oregon is they don't really have a foundation for their argument right now it is complete eye test with them that team they've, they've uh-huh. not beaten they've not beaten anybody of well, substance oregon state's the only good team that they end up beating yep. all, all season it. long all and, season long and and then you'll have you'll have them saying they beat a washington team that That's was right. pretty decent yeah. Um, so, and so, so yeah, those are the two wins that they would have. Yeah, and and so to me, even though the rankings don't show it right now, I would imagine this committee views Alabama and Oregon on roughly the same level. So now you've got a Washington win or a Georgia win. So I find that a really interesting argument. I know Oregon is ranked in front of them right now, mm-hmm. and this committee has shown they really like Oregon. They're playing eye test with Oregon and really like what they see. But when it basically comes down to one beat Georgia, one beat Washington, I would be fascinated to see what kind of decision they make there if it comes down to those two teams. I, I Again, I mean, we've already seen it right now where the committee values Alabama behind Oregon. I know, it I know, but that's without a win over Georgia. That's it, but the, your lasting image would be them beating your best team. You've said and the lasting image Georgia that you would have against Oregon is them beating the team that was ranked in the top four. I know. Washington. So, I mean, I I mean, again, I I think I actually am more triggered of the fact of if what happens if Georgia 
loses on a – Will Reichard hits a 55-yarder at, okay. at the end of regulation, and Bama wins 31-28. to 28. And you mean to tell me at that point where Georgia waxed Ole Miss, they waxed Missouri, they waxed Tennessee, they played pretty damn good football the rest of the way, and their only loss is going to come into overtime or a close loss to Alabama on a neutral site, who Alabama, by the way, at that point is either a top four, top five, top six team, and they're not going to go to the college football playoff. That, to me, I mean, if somehow, some way, Georgia loses a close game to Alabama, and Georgia is out, but a undefeated FSU that barely gets by Louisville with the backup quarterback is in, I don't really want to drop the F bomb, so I won't. But what the flip are we doing? I mean, honestly, <laughs> I, 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 it would not even be considered a legitimate national championship if that was the case. 